everybody, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you so much for joining me today and I just want to start off by saying hello to all these new subscribers that I've had recently. Um, Lisa from uh, the YouTube channel and so on um, mentioned me uh, uh, along with um, 19 other new channels that, uh, that she found and uh, it's just so nice that uh, she took that opportunity to give a shout out to all of the smaller channels um, that she's recently found and I've had a whole bunch of new subscribers and uh, it's just so nice um, that I can reach out to more people, share my love of sewing and uh, yeah, just chat and just get to know everybody. Um, I say it's uh, it's just so nice that uh, that we can all just chat and share our love of sewing. <laughs> so thank you very much, Lisa, for that. I really appreciate it. So what am I wearing today? Uh, as it's me made May, so uh, I'm obviously wearing a uh, as I put in my pledge, uh, one item of me made every day. Today I'm wearing the Simplicity, uh, it's a retro pattern, 1940s retro pattern, 1590. And uh, I made this ages ago, it's probably actually one of the first, yes it was, it was the first kind of shirt style um, top that I'd made, and my first ever buttonholes. <laughs> so this does hold a little bit of a, a special place in my heart, this top, so uh, yes, love this one. So on today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my fabric stash. <laughs> Um, there was um, uh, a little challenge um, that uh, Danny from uh, Pocket or Two and Sean from Kidnish Behaviour set up. And um, I'll link their channels um, down below so you can check them out. But, um, but yes, they created this hashtag, which is hashtag show us your stash 2020. And I believe it all started when um, I think it was Sean was speaking to Danny and uh, she was saying how much that, uh, you know, they wanted to kind of look through people's stashes and have a bit of a rummage through. But obviously because of certain situations going on in the world at the moment, um, then obviously you can't do it physically. So why don't we just show it all on a video or if you're on Instagram, you can share it on Instagram. So you don't necessarily need to take part if you're uh, if you've got a vlog, you can obviously do it on Instagram. As long as you use that hashtag, then everyone can see um, certain bits of your stash. And what um, uh, what Danny and Sean have created is a list of nine questions I say questions, just kind of subject headings, um, so that you can show different aspects of your stash. So, grab yourself a cup of tea and we'll go through my stash. <laughs> so, number one, your favourite fabric from your stash. Now, this is a difficult one because I love all of my fabrics. <laughs> but I was kind of having a bit of a rifle through and I think, yeah, my favourite fabric is um, a cotton, which is from the Vintage Sweetheart. I've mentioned them uh, on my channel before. They specialise in 100% cottons and their designs are just beautiful. And I think this is my favourite fabric. And it is Koi Fish. And as I say, it is 100% cotton. And the fish are actually, they've got metallic um, threads going through so their scales um, they've got like gold fleck kind of through them and it is just beautiful and I was kind of hoping maybe to make some type of shirt dress I think with it um, but I just want to show it off to its full potential because it is just beautiful and um, yes I, uh, I did actually mention in one of my other videos I've got a koi fish tattoo so I do love koi fish <laughs> enough to get one inked on my body. So um, yes, uh, that's why I love this one so much and that's why it probably holds a little special place in my heart as being my favorite fabric. <laughs> All right, question number two, your oldest fabric. Now, I had to have a bit of a think about this. Um, so I started sewing, I think it was in 2000 and 18, beginning of 2018 and I remember buying quite a bulk of uh, fabric from Minerva Crafts 
so I was having a look through my stash and I this this fabric popped out and I went yes I remember that was one of the first uh, fabrics that I think I ever owned and again it is a cotton and it's a brushed cotton and it is this lovely floral and I think I saw it because something popped up and I think somebody made uh, I think it might have been on their blogger network or something. Someone made some Carolyn, uh, closet case Carolyn pyjamas out of this material. And I remember thinking how pretty it was. And I think I bought something like two metres, three metres maybe of this. Sorry, they're still on all the, my little boards where I store them. Just I couldn't be bothered unravelling them too much. Otherwise, it'd be too much uh, cleaning up to do. Um, but yes, it's this lovely soft brushed cotton. And um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but it's just so soft and it make probably actually some really nice pyjamas. Um, but yeah, I was thinking maybe more of a, a, a dress or something with it would be quite nice. But um, yeah, it's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> Next up, question number three, fabric which you are scared to cut into. I do actually have a few of these as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was having a look through and... Um, the one fabric that I keep kind of picking up to make something with and then kind of going, nope, I'll put that back, is uh, it's a Lady uh, McElroy um, fabric, um, which is this beautiful bunny fabric. Now you might not be able to see that it's bunnies from here, but if you look close up, there you can see all those cute little bunnies. Now, I'm not called Sewing Bunny <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> um, I'll let you in on a, on a little uh, story. Me and my best friend um, call each other Bunny. It started off by calling each other Honey, and then for some reason it changed to Bunny, and uh, we send each other things like bunny cards, uh, bunny-related gifts. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of spiralled a bit out of control and um, it would always be a case of you'd always refer to each other as oh aren't you a little gym bunny oh aren't you a little crafty bunny and uh, yeah and I think she referred to me once as oh aren't you a little sewing bunny so uh, yes that's where my name came from if anyone's interested in that <laughs> But yeah, so this actually reminds me a little bit of my friend. So this is kind of why I think I'm a little bit scared to cut into it because I love it so, so much. And I really want it to be um, uh, made into a garment that I'm going to wear a lot. So I was thinking I'm going to take the plunge and I'm thinking maybe kind of like a basic kind of cami top, maybe like the Ogden cami, um, maybe just like a basic kind of shift top as well. Keep it simple and then at least I know that I'll get lots of wear out of it. But it is this absolutely beautiful um, viscose, or I think it's called rayon, but rayon viscose, same thing. And it is so beautifully soft. So yes, that one is the one that I am scared to cut into, but I will cut into it. There's no point it sitting there in my stash, not being on show when I love it so much. <laughs> okay, number four, a fabric which you don't know what to make with it. So, uh, yeah, again, <laughs> quite a lot of those. I kind of, uh, inspiration takes me as and when. I do sometimes buy a fabric thinking, oh, I'm going to make it into something. But then I do have those times where I just buy it and I've got absolutely no idea. So um, yeah, it's a bit of a toss up sometimes. But again, this one's quite an old one. And I think I got it from eBay. And again, it was when I was starting uh, to learn to sew. And it is this gorgeous yellow, um, scuba and I've got three meters of this now it is lovely and I do wear um, yellows and mustards as you can see there but this is kind of like it's not quite mustard it's more I'm not sure if it's really showing true there but it's kind of like a gold kind of color and these flowers are lovely on there and I think initially I was going to make um, some sort of dress from it but I just don't know. I just don't know, like, because it's quite a bright colour, obviously, against my skin. Um, I'm just kind of not sure, kind of, what to do with it. And because it's scuba, I mean, I can use it, really, for something maybe that is meant for wovens as well, because it's quite structured. 
So if anyone's got any ideas what I can do with that, I mean, it might just end up being, I don't know, maybe just like a skirt or something, but then, because I've got three meters of it, I want to be able to use it. Um, I know Scuba, you can obviously make the Sirocco jumpsuit, but I think that might be a little bit too loud for that. Even for me, who loves color, this sometimes feels like it could be a bit loud. Um, but yeah, if anyone has got any suggestions as to what I can do with this, I'd love to know, like, if you had this, what would you make? <laughs> okay, we're nearly halfway there. Okay, and then question number five, which is um, a fabric with a story. Now, I do have a fabric with a bit of a story. Might not be that interesting, <laughs> but I thought I'd share it anyway. Um, so, I am a bit of a geeky girl. Um, I have a bit of a weakness for um, certain video games, <laughs> which is um, Zelda. I absolutely love the Zelda franchise. <laughs> Like most other computer games, I'm really not that bothered about. I mean, I do love a bit of Final Fantasy as well. I do love that. But Zelda just holds a special place in my heart. And I managed to find a group um, where they sold um, Zelda fabric. And it was actually Laura, the specky seamstress. Um, I'll link her channel down below. Um, I think I've mentioned her before. Um, but she posted up a picture, I think, of she made a top. I can't remember the pattern name, but it's where she made it for a friend, I think. And um, it had this Zelda sleeve on it. And uh, I just, I sent her a message. And I think I was saying, like, I love this fabric so much. And um, I saw that she posted where she got it from, which was a company called Kira Kira fabrics they've got a facebook page anyway um i ordered um a yard of this fabric uh which is this one how cute is that fabric anyone who is a zelda fan it's just yes it's just, it's the best fabric ever um and so i ordered a yard of this and it was quite expensive it was about 25 pounds I think but then you add on shipping then you add on the tax a yard of this fabric nearly cost me 40 pounds 40 pounds <laughs> for um uh yes this fabric so I waited wow probably about 10 to 12 weeks I think for it and yeah I mean to me it's worth it I probably wouldn't buy from them again just because I don't think my bank balance would allow me to spend that amount of money on one yard of fabric again. But it is actually really, really good quality. It is a, um, a French terry, so it's all looped back. And it is really, really soft. Now, just to uh, go on a bit with the story of why I love this fabric so much is, as I say, I'm a big Zelda fangirl. I even have an ocarina. Yes, that's right. Super, super geeky. <laughs> so yes, um, that was my little story with this one. Um, uh, obviously how I found it, um, how I ended up ordering it, how much money it cost me, and actually a bit of a background as to why I love it so much. So um, yes, hello to any other geeks out there. <laughs> I won't say any more on that. <laughs> okay, so question number six, where do you keep your stash? Now, I'm not going to show you that in this video because I've already done a sewing room tour, which I will uh, put a card in here or I'll link it down below or both. <laughs> um, and that actually shows you all of my sewing room and does include where I keep my fabric stash. So, yes, have a look at that if you're interested. And uh, yes, move on to the next question. So number seven, um, a precious fabric and why it is precious to you. So. I have um, this, oh, I've shown it in one of my fabric hauls before. It is a Liberty Tarnalorn, and it is in the print Q for the Zoo. Now you might have seen this if you watch the Sewing Bee, 
uh, no spoilers, but uh, one of the ladies used this in one of the um, uh, challenges, uh, the children's uh, little girl's dress, uh, smock dress pattern, I think it was. And um, yeah, I saw that and I was like, yeah, I have that same fabric. <laughs> Um, and the reason why this is uh, precious to me is uh, two reasons. Number one, as we know, Liberty is very expensive and I have two and a half metres of this. And uh, also uh, my mum and dad got it for me uh, for Christmas recently. So because it was a gift from them, then it does hold a bit of a special place in my heart. And I just absolutely love it. And... I'm just trying to find out the perfect pattern for this. Um, I ideally would like a shirt of some description maybe, um, but yeah, I just absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love all of my fabrics. I wouldn't keep them all stashed in my room if I didn't love them all. They are my little fabric babies. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I do love this one. And um, yes, this uh, has to have a special project for it because it is precious to me. Okay, so um, question number eight is, what is your dream fabric? Now, I don't really have a dream fabric. There isn't necessarily a fabric that I go, oh, if I had unlimited amount of money in the world, what would I buy? But I would say that um, one of my dream fabrics is, well, anything from Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> because oh they're just so so beautiful the fabrics there and they're just timeless designs they're just beautiful and I really would at some point um, like to buy some uh, Liberty jersey and um, I'm actually I'm really gutted because Liberty um, have a sale going on at the moment um, I was tempted to buy some stuff, but it's still a little bit expensive for me. So, um, but they did have some uh, some Liberty jersey on sale, which was normally about £30 a metre, and it was on sale for £21 a metre. And it was beautiful, it's like these red kind of flowers, it's beautiful, but went on, all sold out. Well, no wonder, at that kind of discount, I suppose, but um, yes. Hopefully one day my dream would be to have some Liberty jersey to put in my stash. <laughs> and finally, question number nine, which is just to share a fabric of your choice. So lots and lots of fabrics um, I have. <laughs> um, and I have done a few fabric hauls. So you've probably actually seen the majority probably of my stash really now. I mean, I do have a lot of fabric, but I don't have like masses. Um, but one that you haven't seen, which I did want to share, which is, again, it was a very close contender for being my favourite fabric. Um, I think it was last year, maybe, maybe even the year before, again. Um, so over it was selling this uh, crepe. And it is these beautiful polar bears. And the quality of this is just beautiful it's so so lightweight it's so drapey and polar bears as I've mentioned before are my favorite animal and I absolutely love this now I did get three meters of it because uh, once it popped up I just had to buy it um, and so I was hoping that means that I could make a few garments from it I was hoping to make um, a nice little top um, and maybe a dress as well from it um, but yes, I thought I would share that one with you because yes, it was a close contender for my favourite. And uh, yes, and this one is my personality because I love polar bears. <laughs> okay, so I'd really like to thank Danny and Sean for getting this um, uh, challenge set up. I really enjoyed actually just having a little rummage through my stash and picking out some of those uh, those favourite ones and ones that answer the questions. So um, if anybody wants to join in, please do. As I say, you don't have to do uh, a video. You can do it over on Instagram, just anything. Just share your stash, share the love. <laughs> and <laughs> um, because yes everyone wants to see what's in everyone's stashes <laughs> so uh, yes I really hoped you enjoyed uh, looking at my fabrics again thank you so much for any of my new subscribers if you haven't subscribed to me please do and if you want to press the notification bell as well it means that every time I upload a video you get notified so you can watch it 
But yes, thank you very much everyone for watching and I will see you soon. <laughs> thank you. Bye.